So what we've got a close up of the panel here. So on a standard panel, you can have uh, a normal non-threaded hole and that in the old days would have gone with a standard screw and that would have gone through like that. With a captive screw, what you do is you also thread the panel. So when you thread the panel, this screw goes through it. It's then got a thinner diameter shoulder. So that's gone through. Now that cannot come back out because it cannot unthread itself. Okay, so that is what makes a captive screw. Hopefully you can see that we have got different types of captive screws. So these are captive thumb screws. Uh, these are captive screws that have got a countersunk, so basically they will recess into the panel. And this one has a Torx drive. The majority of them tend to have hex drives on them, but we can make them in Torx or we can make them in security drives as well. So those are the main styles. And in general, in terms of size-wise, they will come from anything from an M2 thread all the way up to an M16 thread. So that's to give you an idea. What's also quite interesting as well is if you have got a panel with just a standard non-threaded hole, we can make that hole into a captive uh, panel screw. So what we can do there is to take one of our standard screws. Okay, so for example, like that. And what we've got here as well is we have got some specially threaded washers. So that washer will then thread onto that part and in that way, that screw, even though it hasn't got a threaded hole, is now retained in place. What's also important when you select a captive screw is that you select the length of it and you also bear in mind the thread length because some of the captive screws have got different thread lengths and you need to bear in mind the length that it's going into and the thread length of the screw. So what I've done with this demonstration is to show you the importance of making sure that you get the, the, the correct size and the correct length captive screw. This captive screw has got a shorter thread length than this captive thumb screw. And what you'll find is that this one is designed for the correct size panel. And when it comes out, the gap between the gap between the panel here and and the covering panel is enough for the thread to come out of this section but not to be immediately screwed into the covering panel. So I showed you how the this was the correct size screw for this particular panel. This this thumb screw that I've got here has got a longer thread length and the danger there is if you don't get it right you can actually manage to unthread the thumb screw but as you're doing it it can actually thread because of the thread length and the gap there can actually thread into the panel so actually the person who's using that could actually unscrew the captive screw all the way through and therefore it wouldn't be captive because we haven't selected the correct length of the screw and the correct thread length to suit the panel size that we're looking at so that's an important thing to consider